uh, Liz Truss, who I think is in the Observer magazine, is it today? I no, think you it's magazine. The Mail magazine. The Mail, it's you magazine. Yes. Has paraded an extraordinary range of very, very bright clothing. And there yes. she is again. <laughs> yes, yeah, so Liz Truss seems to have a kind of exhaustive supply of these fantastic suits and bright colours. And I think what she has tried to project uh, is a a sense of optimism, mm. which, I mean, some around this table may be more cynical, but I personally think it's a breath of fresh air to have a politician uh, from the Conservative Party who isn't forever talking about Brexit, who isn't wedded to a kind of declinism, things were better in the 1950s, let's go back to that, but it's talking about a vision. And um, it's no coincidence that Liz has something of a cult following amongst young Conservatives and young free marketeers. She's the cheerful right-winger. Yes, winger. she is, mm. but it's, it's important. I think particularly now when we've had quite, quite a dismal few years of, of politics, we've lost faith in our political class. Uh, those of us who voted Brexit have felt like our, our voices have been ignored and the popular will that was expressed in 2016 has been trodden upon and all of this. And it's quite refreshing to have a candidate who is talking about the future. All right. In a positive on a way. On a refreshing note, thanks to all. We've run out of time.